hey guys happy happy new week i hope you had a great weekend and you are energized and ready to start on with this new week today i've come here because i want to share with you and encourage you and motivate you hopefully you will gain a thing or two from what i share with you today today i want to talk to those of us who are visionaries who are entrepreneurs who are employees moms dads People who understand that their life is not just about waking up and going to sleep or eating it's about a bigger purpose something bigger than themselves and today I come to share with you something so profound to let you know that even the scripture says that the farmer that looks to the cloud or looks at the wind would never plant the farmer that looks at the cloud would never reap meaning that whatever you have to do you would have to do it regardless of what the physical you know or environmental signs are in other words it is saying that things would hardly ever line up 100 percent perfectly before you step out to do the thing that you have to do sometimes you may have ideas sometimes you have this burning passion for something to be done to improve a person's life to improve a community to to, to create something to invent something but you have held back on it because you're looking for all the signs to be right today I want to point you to what the scripture says that a farmer that looks at the wind would never plant but of course you would think as a farmer shouldn't the wind matter yes of course because if you're going to plant and the winds are wild then that means that the planting will not stay in the ground but here again the scripture is saying if a farmer looks to the wind he would never plant that means that you have to plant regardless of the wind it means you have to plant irrespective of the wind it means you have to plant even when the conditions don't line up favorably for you Sometimes it is in the first step that the second step is unveiled. But if you stand from where you stand and without taking the first step, you will never know what the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth step will be. The scripture again says that the farmer that looks to the cloud will never reap. After he, the farmer has gone out there to plant, there's going to be a season where he has to reap. If you are still looking at the environment, if you are still looking at nature to validate whether you should take a step or two, then you're going to miss your season of harvest. You're going to miss the time when you're supposed to get everything that you have worked hard for. The message here today that I'm passing on to you is that things may never fully line up for you. Everybody will not give you a yes. Not every door you would knock upon would open for you. But you don't have to wait for everything to be perfect to start on that idea that's been burning on your inside. You do not have to wait for everybody to give you some kind of clapping or, you know, app or what should I say, applaud you for you to go on with what you have in your heart to do. Because it's clear that if you were to look to the winds, you will not plant. If you were to look to the clouds, you will not reap. What does that say? What does that mean? It says, nevertheless, go ahead. Nevertheless, put one step forward. In that step forward, you would see the next step unveiling itself as you go. What have you put on hold? Because you're just waiting for the perfect time. Waiting for the kids to grow. And then they're grown. And then you're waiting for, you want to lose weight. And then you lose weight. And then, oh no, you know, we have this family project. I'm waiting for that to get done. And you see, you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Because you're waiting for a perfect time that will never come. Whatever you have on hold, I challenge you this week to start thinking about getting it started and getting it done. Until next time, guys, this has been Excel, and have a blessed week. God bless you.